Well, hello everyone. How are you? How are you? It is Saturday, July 29th here in Charleston, South Carolina. My name is Natalie. And if you're looking for me on social media, just look up the Naughty Hooker, K-N-O-T-T-E-E. -E, and you'll find me on all social map platforms, except for Snapchat. Snapchat I couldn't keep up with. That just got on my nerves. So, But anyway, I had said that I was going to show you a list of what are some things that are in my project bags. So I wanted to take the time today to do that and I had a little free time. My son is down from Georgia with my two grandchildren and then my daughter and, and I live with my daughter and her fiance and their child. Um, the little bean is five months old but they're all gone. I have the house to myself. It is so quiet. I don't know what to do with myself. Actually, I think after I shoot this video, I'm going to lay down and take me a nap because I play bunko tonight with some girlfriends. This is a new group of ladies. They, we had had a bunko group started and then it got everybody got busy with whatever and they're starting up tonight for the first time. So I'm going to play bunko this evening and then probably stay up all night playing cards with the kids. But anyway, so first thing I want to show you, remember I told you last week I had a king size afghan that I was making? Well, this is that monstrosity. As you can see, it is huge. I'm almost done. I'm already, I'm already decreasing. I ran out of yarn, so I took the time to actually weave in all the ends. And I'm just doing a corner to corner. Really simple. Just that she just wanted to pop a color. So that is one thing. I've got to finish that up. I'm, I'm probably grab some yarn while I'm out today and get it finished, hopefully, and in the mail. Hopefully by this week. Now, oh, so remember I crochet and I've taught myself or teaching myself how to knit and I knit Portuguese style. So in my Atlanta Braves bag, and let's not talk about my Braves because they suck and they're driving me crazy. But anyway, I'm practicing. I saw this lady on one of the videos I was watching and she did the knit stitch a little bit different than what I was used to seeing. So I had some scrap yarn, just some red heart I think it's red heart soft so I said you know what let me practice and so I'm just making a probably a blanket to give away either a charity or somebody that you know is having a baby or whatever but I'm just do I'm, most of my blankets I do a garter stitch bridge or border just so it wasn't won't curl as much so it's just simple garter border pearl and I do since I do Portuguese knitting I do all my guard most of my garter stitch just purling and then stocking it in the middle just to practice the knit stitch. So this is just, and I've, I've had to use the needles for something else. So it's just sitting, you know, languishing away in my one of my project bags. This is not something that I really have to do. So I pick it up every once in a while in between projects when I get bored with something else. This here is probably going to get frogged. This is some yarn I hand dyed. And I had started one project with it and didn't like it so I frogged it and I, this was this really is you know you've seen those diagonal washcloths it's all this is and I know knew how to do the yarn over pearl wise well you probably can't see it here but I didn't know how to do it knit wise so I switched to stockinette in the middle just to give it some flavor or some texture or whatever basically just to learn it but mm, it's not calling my name. The, the pattern with the yarn, the pattern to me is not doing the yarn justice. So more than likely this is going to get frogged and become something else. I just don't know what else yet. So that is in my Atlanta Braves bag. Now the next one I'm, I'm going to show you I am really excited about because this is, I have a client in Georgia that I've been making crocheting things with for years. And now that I've learned how to knit, and she's the type of client that, you know, since I've been crocheting with her for her for so long, all I have to do is just send her a picture because I know she'll love it. And she fusses at me and just, just, just send me an invoice and I'll get it. So, because that matter of fact, that king size afghan is for her. And she wanted, about now, if you haven't noticed by now, this is probably, this Carolina Blue is probably, is, is, is I can't even talk as subdued as you'll see me as far as colors if I pick especially if I'm hand dyeing something I don't know how to do muted colors I'm not really a fan of muted colors I have my colors have to pop 
This is something I hand out for my birthday last year. This is a crocheted bubblegum shawl, and I'll put the information. It's available on Ravelry. I'll put the information either across the screen or down below. <laughs> yeah, down below. And you can get the information. This here, I'll, I'll put the information on what this is. This is the same shawl or pattern that was on the other my other video. It's just a different color yarn. So I have a couple of these that I use with this one. I think this is cotton yarn on Clarice. And this is a superwash merino. But I don't I love playing with color and she allows me to do that. So I got this brilliant idea. And this these two colorways have been calling my name for a while. I wanted red and purple. That's not a, a com combination you see often, but it was just calling my name. So I said, okay. And she wanted a virus shawl, which I've made a couple of them for her. And I'm like, okay, you have enough virus shawls. Let's try something different. And I, I watched, I don't know, I watched um, Off Our Needles with, by the Grocery Girls. And a couple of weeks ago, they had this shawl by Yohi Locatelli. Called, it was a shawl that she had designed especially for them because they exchanged gifts for their birthdays or whatever. Their sisters. So, I fell in love with that shawl and it looks simple enough to knit. So this is it started. I am so excited. This is this will be my first knitted shawl. It's mostly garter stitch with a couple of rows of um, color in between. And then when you get to the end, it's feathers and fan, which... That's going to be fun learning how to do. I hadn't tried that yet, so I but it's enough of it to where it's going to challenge me without overwhelming me. At least that's what I'm hoping. Because this right here took me the longest time to get started because you start the rows with um, a knit front and back. And when you see a knit front and back, for most people, that you know, either continental or English knit, it just looked different. So I was making it harder than it was. And I have a weekly yarn group. We meet every Wednesday. So I, I had one of the ladies sit down because what she was making something and it was knit front and back. So I just sat and over her shoulder and watched her. And I had to come home and turn the TV off, close the door. But I finally got it. And child, y'all don't know how happy I was when I finally figured out. I was making it a lot harder than it was and it, it didn't have to be. So that is in my Carolina bag. Ashley is not spending much time in the bag, but um, I keep the purple in there when it's not in use. So that's what I have right now. I hadn't cast on. I have some. My, my son gifted me, I think a couple of Christmases ago, with a yarn box subscription for my birthday just that one month, but I was happy for it, so I won't complain. But I got some cashmere yarn, and so I figured I would make him a, a beanie with it. Because in Charleston, South Carolina, well, he lives in Atlanta, so it's not really much colder. But there's, I'm not going to wear a, a cashmere beanie in Charleston, South Carolina. And if I do, I'm going to look, I, <laughs> yeah. So, I figured I'd, I'd knit him up a hat. And so, that is it for me for this weekend. I didn't, I don't have much planned beyond Bunko tonight and just knitting and spending time enjoying my kids being here. My other son is on his way from Denver to Atlanta. So I'll have, at least I have all my kids on this, this side of the East Coast or what have you. So that is it for me. If you have any questions or you have anything you want me, I know there was, um, and I forgot to write her name down. Somebody commented on my very first video. She lives in North Myrtle or in Myrtle Beach, which is, I think is just great because she's just an hour and a half up the road from me. But she's also learning how to knit Portuguese style. So she wanted me to kind of show her some of what I'm doing. So what I want to do is, right now I'm recording on my iPhone, so I've got to figure out how to get it set up to where it's looking over my shoulder so that I can show. Now any pattern I can't, per copyright y'all, I can't show you what I'm doing with that because of course it's not my design, it's not my pattern, and I'm not about to have my my channel with three episodes shut down for you know copyright laws. But I can still show different stitches. So that's what I'm going to try to do next week is try to do a, a couple of videos of, because like the... That one I'm working on is just knit stitch. I want to kind of show how that's doing. And um, I made another throw. The the stitch is called the Flying Geese Stitch. Now I had no idea. It was something that popped up on my Pinterest page. And I didn't know it was a quilting stitch until I you know, was telling somebody about it. And I said, just Google Flying Geese Stitch. And she did. And she got a whole bunch of quilting things. But it's a knit stitch. And I made a throw for my girlfriend. And it came out beautiful. So I think I'll, it's a 12 row repeat. So I think I'm going to try to show y'all 
that maybe next pattern if I can get the camera set up to where it's, it's looking over my so you can see my hands and see what I'm doing but I think that is it for now my, I don't have too many projects which I'm glad I have a whole bunch of yarn that I've dyed that I want to start projects on but I want to get this um, the shawl that I'm working on the red red and purple shawl is called the girl from the grocery store so I'll put all the links down below for everybody so for this shawl that shawl and this shawl so you all enjoy your weekend have fun be safe and I will talk to you later.